Hello and welcome back to Industry Giant. And when we last of all, we tackled our first the crisis management mission in this campaign. And then surprisingly well, by all considerations, wouldn't you think? And this time around, there also will be a focus on sporting goods, if not misremembering. So why don't we do it from our safe game and see what we can achieve today, shall we not? I think the target was even lower than before, wasn't it? But just to refresh my memory, what are we doing exactly? Okay, we're making ourselves some tennis rackets. Okay, they want to see a yearly profit of 8 million at the end of 2035. That should be pretty easy, all things considered. And they're also saying something about the raw materials being more expensive than usual. But the last time I checked here, that didn't seem to be the case, ultimately, which is interesting. And I think we are... Uh, where are we exactly? Because Detroit and Vancouver is like thousands of kilometers apart. Uh, yeah, I think so at least, right? Uh, okay, let's just uh, suspend our disbelief here and focus on the task at hand and see if these products are actually well profitable right now because I have no clue, frankly. Uh, yeah, I think it's a one to one ratio no matter where we are. So there shouldn't be any stock by anything in between. The only problem could be with these uh, stores here, of course. Yeah, 29, not a problem. I mean, we can squeeze out some additional profit here, certainly, but otherwise. Yeah, like over here, for instance. It's a start, wouldn't you think? Apparently, we want to corner the market for... Uh, these, uh, yeah, fitness trainers, for whatever reason, I'm quite sure why and how, but apparently we focus on that exclusively. I do see some, um, maglev as well, interestingly enough. And yeah, what about those tennis records? There must be something to this mission I'm missing here. Wouldn't you think? Because they're pointing this out specifically. The raw materials are more expensive than usual, but I don't think they actually are. I think it's the same going red as usual here. They're making some money here, of course, and a whole lot of money, but we are making some money. Should be amounting to at least a 3 million here per year or something like that. Yeah, something like that indeed, right? Okay, so it seems to be profitable, which means instead of focusing on crisis management, uh, we can think about additional products and the which ones are available for that matter. Okay, uh, I suppose we could make some rings if there were any mines on the map, which of course there aren't. Otherwise, we have a furniture industry, sporting goods, and some toys. Mm hmm Okay, good here. I just don't see the materials being any more, uh, yeah, <laughs> expensive than usual. It's really strange, to be honest. So why would I point this out specifically? Hmm. Okay, so I think we need to increase the utilization of our existing products and maybe also switch out the uh, factories here because it is a bit redundant, right? They are very close together. We can just combine this into one, ideally. So why don't we start with this here? I think it's a pretty decent idea. It's not really essential to our current plans, I think. The branding on stop, I should specify here, of course. Okay, I think we do that. Make the train stop here and then we redirect some of the existing ones right, something like that. This factory can be reused for the production of something else entirely, not a problem. Uh, we can also, of course, uh, set in more materials, so why don't we prepare this anticipation here, something like that. I don't think it's a terrible idea, and this is a monorail, I believe, right? Yeah, I need this. Okay, not a problem, and I think there also was some um, access available back here. Surely we can deliver more items if we wanted to, so why not? Instead of messing with the prices or something like that. Okay, but of course the train was passed out immediately because I changed the orders, right? <laughs> wow, not a big deal here. I think we can untangle this here eventually. There should be plenty of time, I'm hoping. Right? Shouldn't there be? Maybe we have to rebuy some of those trains, but I don't think it will be a massive problem ultimately. 
Uh, of course, we need to preserve at least a little bit of the forest here before I get too ambitious, but this ain't working here. If anything like this, needs to be a uniform. It's just how it works in this game, right? We need to accept its limitations somehow. Then again, it's the eighth uh, episode of this campaign, so uh, I suppose we should have done this already, right? This train won't be moving until we have some uh, fitness trainers to sell anyhow. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm going to repurpose this particular factory once we have the opportunity and see if there's not an opportunity as well to sell a couple of items. Uh, I think we can make this happen. We can also upgrade the train of course if we wanted to, but at the moment I want to reuse what's already on the map here if you don't mind. Maybe that was not the greatest idea here, but we have to have a temporary connection, I suppose. So this work, thankfully. And you can continue to the other stuff, I think it's also fine. Just have to mess with the uh, yeah, junction here, once you're on your way. Thank you very much. So there we go, our trains didn't work out immediately, isn't that lovely? I'm not sure this would work. Right? <laughs> no, this train is complete. Oh, oh no, it's actually not interesting. Okay, so that seems to be a working fine then. Uh, I see him. I guess I cannot turn around like this here. Alrighty then, so we untangled this mess, which is the start, I think. So we don't have to purchase any new locomotives. And then we can reuse this existing uh, structure here in some capacity or not. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, so I mark my words because, as you can see, this thing did work out. <laughs> Alrighty, so apparently you're not obliging here, my friend. Unfortunately so. That's what I figured would happen, but at least we managed to pose off the rest of the locomotives. But it's a start, wouldn't you think it's a start? And we have plenty of trees left over in case we have a problem with that. So let's see about the demand. What can we uh, funnel in here? Alright, we have a little bit too ambitious here, I see. Okay, so well, there should be opportunity for at least a couple more of those fitness trainers. Or we can just shoot them out to Rapid City, for instance, or the problem. Just need a couple more raw materials, of course. Ja, yeah, sonst super efficient hier, but we can fix this, I'm thinking. I don't want to swap this out for Macra just yet. Monorail is plenty here. It's not going to be a super upscale operation. Maybe there's an artificial shortage of materials, but it seems to be the same price. It seems to be the same quantity for the current era. So I'm hey, not quite sure what they're talking about. I really don't. Just uh, passes me, frankly. Maybe they thought about doing this, but this wasn't actually implemented. Who knows? I have no idea. Really it's kind of puzzling.
We have much of the same idea here, but figure. Yeah, I'm not going to what they're talking about, so this mission should be super easy unless there's something uh, that will be a factor later on, like a changing economic uh, conditions or whatever. I mean, it's certainly a possibility, but up to this point, I haven't really seen any evidence thereof. There must have been something they were thinking about, but didn't actually implement, I think. Hmm, but whatever. Whatever indeed, my friends. But it does, uh, of course, make me wonder for understandable reasons. So, yeah, we have it. So let's just see what utilization will look like once we're done with this place. I don't see anything that would indicate there's anything unusual going on in terms of the rate of production or anything in between or the raw materials or anything in between. It really is kind of strange. I really don't know what they're talking about. Okay, this is completely saturated, so if you want to sell them items, so it would have to be in a different store here someplace. Or just find them items over here because we can increase the prices, uh, maybe also do some advertisement. I'm not above that, frankly. I'm trying to be too fancy here, why? But we already lost a train courtesy of Broken Pathfinding, even though there wasn't any problem. You know, but as I've already mentioned on multiple occasions, reusing uh, trains in this uh, game for any reason whatsoever is just asking for trouble because things like these happen, even if they're completely nonsensical. So we'd rather do some convoluted shit here, I guess, instead. I guess it cannot be helped. Just to make sure there isn't any stuff by developing here. I mean, fitness trainers are pretty decent. They should remain as such for the rest of the mission here. And back here, we already know we need to invest in some advertisement, right? And then we can start finding more items with the idling factory, for instance. Not a terrible idea. So what should it be? Maybe just use the wood because it's literally right around the corner here. I think it may not be a terrible idea. You can surely make some snowboards, right? Uh, I suppose we could have reused that. Yeah, surely we can reuse that, right? Okay, I think it's not a terrible idea. I think these also need steel, don't they? But for now we go for some uh, simple stuff like snowboards. And the first year gave us 800 something here despite the stoppages. It's not terrible. And how many do they want over here anyway? Yeah, this should be a satisfactory, I'm hoping. And otherwise we're looking at 33, so it's certainly one train or something like that. I think that's fine. We could theoretically reuse the platform, but why? It's just asking for trouble once again. And we also discovered that Tunnel Port is surprisingly can be side by side. Who knew this would be possible in this game? But I think it's the only exception. Literally the only exception. <laughs> just want to point this out again. Bridges gonna be side by side. The bridges need to be one tile away from any given structure. I think even two tiles away. Why? Because they cannot be adjacent. It doesn't matter who owns the structure. It ain't happening. And for the other angle, a couple of trucks ought to be plenty, frankly. And these can also be adjacent, surprisingly enough. Of course, you would never build anything like this in real life, but that's I guess. Not sure how many we need here. I mean, it's only one train, frankly. It's a very, very short route, of course. Ja, 
Uh, there we go. First delivery is occurring. I like that. Of course, we don't have to rely on one factory exclusively to deliver these snowballs or whatever. Not a problem. But it looks like we can sell uh, more items back here, which is interesting. Or just have a different outlet because it's like right over here. Why wouldn't you think it's a better idea? Since we already have a platform and everything. Only takes a couple of seconds, which of course is uh, at least half a month with this game or something like that. Maybe we can make up some slats here as well. May not be a terrible idea. So, then we have some plastic in the area, I see. Make here everything is honky dory, just double checking, yes, indeed it is. So we have actually two plastic plants, I mean chemical plants right next to each other. It's always a delight when it happens. No stock pair, of course, and we have earned... Ah, uh, yeah, doesn't look horrible, doesn't look fantastic either, so they weren't joking about this, but I'm not quite sure what the problem is here, frankly. Maybe there's some hidden changes back here, I'm not sure. But we seem to be earning at least some money, right? Yeah, that's pay only some bills, of course, that's the thing. And we're also paying for advertisements, so we have to utilize the stores to the fullest here, ideally. We can build ourselves some rubber boards right around the corner, essentially. Alright, I guess we can try that. This can't be a simple point about the delivery type of affair, anyhow. At least for this area. Yeah, look at how close these can be together. It's a very generous here game. And of course we know there is lots of uh, demands so we just uh, slap this together with some maglev. Even though it's also a little bit expensive to operate, of course. We can always upscale this later, no problem, but we need to ideally utilize our existing structures a little bit better. Yeah, 40, I think we can deliver this and then some. Shouldn't be too much of a worry here, I'm thinking. More plastic means more opportunities and more rubber boats than incidentally. Yeah, 25. Okay, we can certainly put together some easy peasy truck angles here. A brief, I think I'd like that. I mean, we do have these hybrid trucks, and I think uh, there won't be any improvements for those. I think it's, uh, yeah, uh, the Apex vehicle, so to speak, in this game. The fanciest and the newest one. Apparently, they didn't imagine the re-emergence of trolley trucks <laughs> in a certain fashion. I think it would have been considered unlikely in the mid-1990s. Who can blame them, really? Trolley trucks were obsolete for like, what? The better part of a century? Um, ideally we don't want to do this because it's very slow, of course. There we have it. Excellent, but you have to make sure it's actually connected because even that's not a guarantee in this game, of course. <laughs> Always a delight when it happens. I 
I'm sure there is some opportunity here to do something else, but you need to focus maybe on some more complicated products, relatively speaking. Uh, well, nothing's really complicated compared to electronic parts, right, you know, but still. I think there's a higher profit margin, stuff like that. Every division could purchase these trucks in bulk, but of course I cannot. Aber ist gut. Okay, August and the profit margin on some of the items is exactly stellar right now. I think we can manage here right over the course of this mission, I'm hoping. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this right now expenditure is already like uh, kind of substantial. So I'm not sure what the difficulty is from this mission or supposed to be. I really think there missed something back here, right? Probably. I really think so. That's the only explanation I can think of, to be honest. Ah, I suppose this one can be reused. It isn't too busy of a line here. So, what's the verdict here? What's the problem? We're already 30 in storage. There would be a problem, of course. Uh, but is there another outlet we can utilize back here? I think there should also be some spare capacity. Uh, not quite, maybe one or two trucks here. But I don't want to add any more to this current station. For reasons that should be quite obvious, just looking at the traffic jam back there. Okay, it is going down finally, which is something. Uh, but this area seems to be pretty well utilized already. I don't see any stockpile. We're earning plenty of money, but since we're paying for advertisement, we should be uh, finding in even more products back here. So what can we utilize? What would make sense? There's another uh, chemical plant. I think mountain bikes uh, use steel and plastic, right? Yeah, that's what I remembered. We haven't made any inline skates just yet, but it's the same situation essentially. Mountain bikes have higher production cost. I guess it could be an option. There is plenty of steel maybe. Maybe not too much here, but I don't think we're safe anyway all the steel at the same time. Okay, it is going down, so it should be holding steady here in a couple of months down the line, which is good. But it's getting a little bit crowded here already, you know. All this uh, infrastructure is snaking on top of each other. Yeah, why is this mission so easy? It's the eighth mission of the campaign, is a reminder. And they're giving us the 12 members of the board voting for us if we succeed, which seems pretty likely right now, by all considerations. Which is kind of strange when you think about it. Of course, we could go for some less profitable products, like skis, for instance, but these really are obsolete. All things considered, because it's how it works in this game, even though they're also tailored to a different audience, of course. At least you would think so. Make us some inline skates, presumably. So this needs to be double tracked because there will be plenty of demand for the stuff, given the distance and all. And of course, we have to prepare the terrain accordingly. Yeah, 
And there we have it. So with all of our expenditures, it's already 2.5 million. And the target is only 8 million this mission. There really shouldn't be any problem whatsoever, frankly. And we are only focusing on one tiny portion of our operation. Only one tiny portion, you know. And this time around we go for uh, Mechalev here because it's quite a distance away. That's what I meant, you can have a different rare types, even though they look identical for all intents and purposes, even though this is uh, back rare, right? Or make left even. Yeah, of course there isn't any rare white in the back left system, because it's levitation, it's in the day. I don't think it will ever be commercially viable, but the right here. And yes, I know about that one line in China, in Shanghai, I believe it was. It's not profitable. It's a showcase operation, courtesy of the Chinese government. Okay, so then we sell some inline skates uh, back here as well. I suppose we could do that. So what's the theoretical demand in here? 12, huh? Okay. So we're delivering too many snowboards, I see. That should fix the problem once we get rid of the access here and whatever. So far is holding steady, so we can sell all the items we manufacture right now. That's in interesting, also good to see. Yeah, 18, huh? Okay. One slower train, maybe something like that. I think there should be plenty here. We need one platform in case we need more plastic or anything in between. You never know in this game, of course. Since we focus so heavily on uh, trucks and a couple of other missions, why don't we try to use some trains here for the most part? Not as the exclusive mode of transportation, you know, but still. I think it's a terrible idea sometimes. Also good practice, of course. I don't just make any sense because all these structures are super close here, so... <laughs> ah, whatever, it's just a game, of course, but I cannot help but point out these things as we move along with the campaign. Sorry, pal. I really wish it would auto connect, but you know it does, I guess, I guess. most elegant solution, but hopefully it does work. Ah, uh, a little bit of overcapacity because it's still working on its top pie at 12. 
So, we can just use the slowest train for this here, I think. We can always upgrade later on in case we need to. Okay, that's not looking too hot here, right? Because I was way too ambitious for this. So good thing we are checking back here once in a while. But also explain the profit margin or like the off. Because the statistics, they weren't fully implemented yet, I think. Yeah, same idea here. Okay, not ideal. So I shouldn't mess with things we haven't fully identified yet, right? It's fully working, I should say. Uh, but this one seems to be doing all right just for now. Okay, interesting. I suppose it will fix itself over time. That's the problem with being too focused on um, one thing at a time, of course. And there we have it. So all the items we can manufacture, thank you very much. Yeah, 18, also a slower train, ideally. So, where else do we want to sell this stuff? Over here, ideally, I would figure. Uh, surely we can make this happen, somehow. I guess we can try to build a bridge back here somewhere. I wouldn't count on it working easily, but already. But there's a hard limit as to how long these bridges can be in this game, by the way. And this could be too far away already. And indeed it is too far away already because that makes sense, right? <laughs> Good, yeah. Come on, work with me here, game. Please, thank you very much. Why is there even a limit on the bridge length? It's just reused sprites, you know, for every single time except for the rams. So, why would there be a... I have no idea, frankly. Focus my mind, to be honest. Also, the yeah, it's an auto-connecting back here. Why is always auto-connecting where we don't want it to? But uh, in the opposite situations, it isn't. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever indeed, my friends. This game has many problems, of course. So, now we can step it together, I'm hoping, right? We start with these steel deliveries, of course, and then I see what we can do about the plastic angle. I'm not quite sure there is a, a different locomotive for Maglev eventually. There may be, there may not be. I don't remember right now. I guess for now we try the slower locomotive here and then also remove a couple of wagons if it's necessary. And for now we need to start selling some items, of course. Yeah, the game is really smart enough to fill up one train, you know. First. That's really something. I can see this working, at least I hope so. Okay, September of 2028, and then, uh, let's just double check our, yeah, profit is here, here, rebrief. So, 3 million, and we identified plenty of problems, and we have another production line rolling, so do you really think 8 million will be any problem for us? I don't think it will be. As long as we can, uh, leave this unattended for a little bit and focus on something else, but it's getting pretty busy back here. For all considerations, so there's another summer we can utilize, some of plastic. We don't need to focus on sporting goods exclusively, we can also make some toys, of course. If we really wanted to. Yeah, we're setting our stockpile, which is good. And let me guess, they're delivering too much plastic. Or maybe not, we have to see here, of course. Yeah, but we are trying to load up the correct items, right? I 
think with insufficient deliveries of steel, don't we? I think that seems to be the problem. So we have to uh, triple track this line uh, somehow. And we just make a passing loop and hope for the best. I guess then we just hope for the best here. <laughs> okay, it can work. It can work. This has to be long enough, of course. If it isn't, then, uh, uh, okay, have fun with that. The game doesn't notify you of this, of course, if there is a problem in the end. It's exactly in the middle of the line here, some players. That should hopefully do the trick for us. Yeah, I think we need a free trains delivering this, or maybe four even, I'm not sure. Really is just playing with fire here, these passing loops. I think it's uh, the only somewhat reliable situation in this game if we do it like this here. You have to wait for this train to get past the switches there, otherwise it's not working. You can only uh, have a one train on any given line. Without passing loops on different platform, I should say, of course. I guess that we stay in the area and see if it will update or whatever here. I hope it does. But I'm as a stockpile, no. Just uh, things working a bit better. Yeah, four snowboards in storage. Uh, let's just take a look see here once in a while. Nothing to worry about back here. Interesting. Also good to see. We're also setting our stockpile, I'm hoping. Because we already have <laughs> crossed the 50% mark. And we haven't uh, built much of anything at all. So why is it so easy in this mission? I'm not quite sure, frankly. Where was that sawmill again? Over here someplace, right? I think we can find at least a couple of skis here. They should sell for this a little bit. Yeah, there we have it. I think it's fine though. Why don't we make this a truck angle? Just for variety's sake. I wouldn't hate the idea because the getting more trains in here seems a little unlikely. Also, there is a one additional platform here, of course, if we need it. Uh, so, what's the demand for skis, by the way? We're already delivering snowboards, of course. Uh, I don't think there's better capacity in the area for this. So, they want uh, 43. Uh, no, sorry, wrong item. So, 72. Uh, okay. So, um, that would explain the train route angle, wouldn't you say? I guess that we try that. Somehow, we can make this happen, I'm sure. Maybe it's a big if too. <laughs> uh, very big if, yes. One might say it's almost if here. Yeah. I guess it does add to the overall end hill situation, right? It's the feeling of it. So there's that at least. So not the easiest thing to get through here, of course. So what's our ultimate destination? Back here, yes. Okay, well... <laughs> I don't see much space available. But he's hoping, I suppose. Somehow we can make this happen, I'm sure. What do you mean? Oh, of course, there's a fucking building right there. Oh, we can fix that. Is that problem? Yeah, there's also no error message in case you haven't noticed why it doesn't even tell you what the problem is. Even better. So now we can finally build a bridge for no reason whatsoever because... Okay, we also have to wait for vehicles to... Yeah, leave the tie down below. It just never ends in this game, right? It's just a one... Uh, yeah, problem after another here, essentially. We have to keep track of ourselves. 
So, this is connected, yes. No uh, bend in the line. No break in the line as well. Something like that. So, over here some place right. Mm. <laughs> Two more bridges side by side. I guess. Uh, okay, we try that. Also, this platform needs to be reused, ideally. So, it's another uh, railway line we have to squeeze for here somehow. Somehow. Okay, but they can only do so much at once. Uh, okay, this won't be going for that matter. <laughs> okay, uh, it's getting a bit hectic here because we have a, a pretty high need for these vehicles, right? Okay, it's getting a bit hairy here, getting a bit busy as you can tell. So I'm really struggling as to how we can build for here. So maybe if we do without this particular one and build a tunnel or something in between because it needs to be rolling here sooner or later. Can't afford to sit around here. Or we reuse at least a bit of track out of necessity, frankly. There we go, we're finally getting things done. Needless to say, maglev of this magnitude would be extremely expensive to build and maintain in real life. And certainly wouldn't be used for moving cargo about, especially not something no margin like wood or so. This is bulk cargo. It's ideal for conventional rail. And of course, all of our trains can only move six wagons at a time. So what gives, I guess? Yeah, we're spending an entire year just getting some railway lines for here. It's really kind of sad when you think about it. Because time progresses so quickly in this title. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ah, my favorite, my terraforming. Seems like the only thing I've been doing in this mission, frankly. Just terraforming after terraforming after terraforming after terraforming. Just to make sure everything can be uh, squeezed in here somehow. So, for now, we go for two platforms and then scale up the operation from there. If we can make this happen, of course, assuming that. So, skis it is, we're moving it out by Maglev. That seems sensible. Is it cheap to manufacture, right? Back here we use uh, some monorail, maybe. Can always upgrade the locomotive later on, of course. I do <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? Okay, that's so nonsensical. It's also why in Industry Giant 2 you can just get the items, you know, if it's that close here. Because this doesn't make any sense naturally, as you would think. <laughs> okay, whatever, let's just get us some maglev here. Probably will need more trains for this, I can already make that assumption at least, so one thing at a time, of course. Just have to make sure it's not completely lopsided, you know, in terms of demand and deliveries and whatnot. Okay, we also wanted to utilize this area, didn't we? There's one space for one additional platform here somewhere. Okay, I'm sure it can be done. Somehow. Aha, it's too close to a different train station. Knows the answer than the game says. Now we can fix that. We have another one over here, I think, right? So what's the demand? Uh, plenty is the answer. Wow, we can actually build a bridge this long, imagine that. Of 
Post doesn't tell you what the limit is or anything in between. You have to just guess, I suppose. Just guess. <laughs> Quickest one, please. Because I can assume there are already too many in storage, right? I would think. Yeah, 36 keys already. Yeah, that's what I figured. So that we can dump them all in here, of course. No the problem. So, anything else available? Uh, well, this one, yes, but we cannot because it's too close. We can build the train station back here. That's an option. Or we try to double track some of these maglev uh, tracks here. I'm not quite sure. It's getting too busy here already. So, in September, and we've earned a uh, 3 million. Okay, that's with all of our building spree here, of course. Oh boy, it's getting very uh, crowded here already, but I think it's by a choice this time around. Maybe it's not a profit-making operation because they're using a maglev for this, a monorail and these skis don't even sell for a whole lot Yeah, I think uh, free trucks should be plenty for this But we need more outlets in here, of course This is being utilized. Uh, this one, maybe. Uh, I guess we could fight that. <laughs> uh, oh, what was the demand here, sirs? Ah, not overwhelming, but uh, it could be worth uh, one rave I guess. Yeah, we can try that. Somehow it should be possible. <laughs> this is just <laughs> the number of bridges and railway towers here is getting a little out of hand, wouldn't you think? I think it's fair to say. At least there's no property maintenance, so we're not getting broke from this at least. Unlike in Sujain 2, if you aren't careful, especially in the hard campaign. Yeah, some of these missions were punishingly difficult. Not just because of that, but also due to it, in part. Good thing I left some room, why? Because I was thinking ahead. Good or bad. I don't think we're going to get rich with skis here, frankly. But it's going down, so maybe we are holding steady here in the final month of this year. So we can sit back and relax a little bit here and see what we can do. If anything is particularly broken. Also, two snowballs, that seems to be alright. So what about the inline skates? Uh, too much plastic, unsurprisingly. So we can uh, reduce this by... Three wagons, maybe. I hope it will be good enough. So we earned uh, four million almost, but not quite, with all of our inefficiencies. So let's just review our current situation before we continue, since we have still four years to build if we wanted to. I think everything should be fine. We can even increase the prices here, because we can't possibly deliver that many. This has recovered nicely, as you can tell. Because the town is also growing, I would think something like that. So anything else? Yeah, snowboards white and rubber boards. It's an all-purpose shop here. Ja, that's interesting. Should make us more money. Otherwise, I think it seems to be a somewhat a sole situation. Ah, uh, too many rubber boards here, unfortunately so. But how many exactly? Ah, uh, right. I think we can fix that. 
Eventually, yeah, we have a 203 in storage right now, because we cannot really divert our attention, and there's no notification or anything in between. That's always a thing, but eventually we'll get it done, I'm hoping. Yeah, after our initial problems here, I think it's recovering quite nicely. Yeah, it is going down, right? <laughs> By two per month, yeah, this stock planet is, of course. <laughs> okay, whatever. Overall, it seems to be acceptable. So, it's February, and we've already earned one point something billion here. Could be worse, of course. Okay, we actually depleted the steel mill. Interesting enough, and of course, also the uh, sawmill, unsurprisingly. Yeah, we can't do anything about that, of course. The rate of production is 59 units per month, which is kind of substantial. Especially for a sawmill. It used to be like 24, I believe. So there are some shortages along the way, at least on occasion. It's a terrible thing. Of course, we cannot synchronize these trains here in any meaningful fashion. It's impossible. But the stock price is going down anyway. So anything else we can do here? Is there possibly anything else we can deliver? Because even delivering this item seems to be downright impossible because there simply is no space for anything. Yeah, there simply is no space here, right? For anything whatsoever. So <laughs> I guess then we really should focus our attention on someplace else, wouldn't you think? Sure, why not everyone loves their rubber boats, I'm thinking. I mean, they set up the sporting goods industry already, right? It was an hour of thinking, really. Once again, the problem will be space or lack thereof. Maybe a warehouse in the middle, and then the items, you know, being distributed, it could work, maybe. I guess we try to squeeze it in here, because the other uh, area of the map is pretty mountainous. But this really should push us over the threshold for next year, if nothing else. But we're also getting rid of the stockpile in the meantime. I guess we're already a little bit too ambitious here by all considerations, but still, it could work. This could actually double as delivery for plastic, I think. Maybe. It certainly is with any catchment area wide, right? indeed it is, that's good. What is that? Is this monorail or is this maglev? It's maglev, surprisingly. Okay, I did see one of those trains on the map, of course. So we can maybe redirect this here briefly. Ah, oh, yeah, of course you would. You goddamn fucking idiots. <laughs> at least it didn't break this time around. Pretty please. What are you doing? Oh, this stupid. Yeah, all the uh, tools in this game have so many problems, man. Okay, please fix this here, brief. Thank you very much. There we go. At least there isn't anything else reliant on this stuff, right? That's obviously a good thing. And the rest we build over here, I guess, right? Something like that. Oh, of course, we cannot since there is a fucking building in the way. It's getting very old very quickly, wouldn't you think? Because I need to utilize this platform, of course. Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, whatever. But it is certainly very annoying. So, there we have it satisfied now. I sure hope we are. 
least you can uh, get this started then, I think, right? Can we know? So what's the demand again here? How can we see this? Probably easiest from this menu. 27. Okay, shouldn't be a problem here. Yeah, go for the medium option, I suppose. Sure, why not? I think that would be fine. Can even use the conventional rail for this, if only it wasn't for the fact that conventional rail is surprisingly expensive to operate for whatever reason. And then we see what else we can find on here. Assume, of course, we can get in the catchment area. But the given. But the town isn't using this for any particular purpose anyway, right, at the moment. But we don't want to demolish this building, ideally. I think it has like 80 inhabitants, so that's like 80 uh, people that don't want to buy own goods, of course. Um, I would call it quite uh, satisfactory here. Probably need more plastic deliveries once the day is done. So far seems to be good. I like that. So in September and we've earned 4 million. So we need to be at least a little bit busy still. I think it's fine. Yeah, probably needs some plastic deliveries, right? That's what I thought here. Didn't want to scrap you. Sorry, there was the wrong button. Of course, there's no confirmation or anything in between. So that gives, I guess. Yeah, so we can get free deliveries in per month, roughly speaking. I guess I should have known better why there's always a need for plastic and then some. Yeah, it is going down right, maybe not. Then we have to create some artificial demand here, I guess. Or oh, alternatively we go to school for advertisement because we also have too many rubber dingus in here. I think it's a better idea. So we should hopefully be able to set up a bulk eventually. Okay, so we adjust our inefficiencies as we see them. But I don't think there's too much to be concerned about here anyhow. Yeah, probably. And you just get the fastest one here. Since we just invested in advertisements, is there anything else here? Do we have a nearby a summer chance or anything in between? Plus, if we can only make these rubber boats and nothing else, we'd have to combine this with some steel deliveries. Which granted are available nearby, if you wanted to. But I think we should be able to make uh, 8 million happen here next year, no problem. But why be so complacent, we still have a couple of months to build. Sounds like it's not enough idea, at least in my eyes. 
make it something simple. In terms of items, what can we deliver here? What's the demand with the Audi advertisement? Probably pretty decent, wouldn't you think? We can deliver 40 mountain bikes per month if we wanted to. I think it's the upside of mountain bikes over inline skates because the demand is much higher. So it's not too concerning having to um, fork out more dough for the production costs because they're about 25% higher if you're not misremembering, something like that. Yeah, we should be able to get here no problem next year, especially once our factories are humming along. Failing that will be the year afterwards. But why is this mission so easy by comparison? Because the electronics angle certainly wasn't easy. I'm perplexed by this really. Okay, and I noticed that we also have a loan. We don't need any longer, of course. Far from it. We can probably buy out the entire bank with that money we have right now. Aluminium is only accepted by the other factory. I think at least. Guess we shouldn't take this for granted, but then again, this game should be smarter than this. And I sure hope it is right. Yeah, I guess just in case, because we cannot trust the game with anything really, can we now? But of course it is more terraforming, it's not exactly my favorite in this game. But there's a distinct lack of items being introduced, you know, later on in the game, because they don't give us access to cars or electronic components, so there's no Vidcom for us or the multimedia centers. Maybe in the remaining couple of missions, who knows? Yeah, so it's Spaghetti Junction time for us everywhere. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Reminds me a bit of the super hectic open TDD games I've seen there. And we see plenty of Spaghetti Junctions because the amount of traffic is completely overwhelming in every single regard. And they also have to use some pretty elaborate junction setups just to get all these trains humming along. And of course in open TDD you also have to worry about signaling. Gets a bit crazy there eventually. Of course, it also gives you more flexibility, being able to control these trains to a certain fashion. Back here, of course, is much of a different story, unfortunately so. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, you built right in here, didn't you? <laughs> Could he? I suppose we could uh, take away the entire uh, cliffside here. I guess I will try that. Thankfully, there are no repercussions for this, surprisingly. Maybe next time around I should just redirect this train, you know. Okay, we make it harder on ourselves than we absolutely have to, I see.
Ja, eigentlich wie du. Das kann er sehen. Oh, das ist stupid. Fucking Terraform Bullshit. <lacht> Come on. I'm working with me here, game. It's getting super annoying. For every single little tile, I have to use the manual adjustments, you know. Come to think of it, this video very annoying. And I don't want to intersect with all existing trains. This is a stupid idea in this game, video is. So. Time to queue up some trains to finally. But I do believe that the last industry that will be necessary for this. Just have to find the proper balance here, of course. And there we have it, our first the maglev train is delivering some uh, juicy mountain bikes. And it's June of 2031, and we have earned uh, 3 million already. Yeah, this is all the industries coming along, of course. And now just a matter of uh, taking a look see here and see what the ratio will look like eventually. Ja, 60 Mountain Bikes, okay, so we can deliver free per month, I would figure. I know what that's good for advertisement. Just out right here and see what we can do. I'm tired of messing with these prices every couple of months. The video is pretty tedious. Ah, I think uh, 72 is not enough to deliver this entire uh, organization here, as it would appear. Would explain, of course, why they give us uh, multiples in the area. So later on, it can get really crazy. Despite the increased in production, you know, because we're siphoning away materials so quickly now. Courtesy of having access to Monterey and also Maglev. Yeah, something like that. Okay, but otherwise, it seems to be doing alrightish for now. Let's have to make sure it does apply to our existing facilities. Yeah, now we're delivering way too much here, of course. Oh, then give us more uh, plastic, please. I think we should be able to meet the target requirements here next year. Assuming, of course, we can work for our stockpile and address some of the inefficiencies. But I'm still trying to feel out the changes here, courtesy of having all the maglev trains, you know, being utilized at close range, essentially. You wouldn't be using maglev for this, of course. But still, I mean, in real life, anything resembling real life for the most part. But I think, with some watchful eye, we should be able to make this happen here next year. But I'm pretty tired of messing with these prices, for instance. So let's just sell our stockpile and then call it good here. Well, maybe sometimes we have to. It's just asking for trouble, isn't it? But hopefully we can keep an eye on this for now. Over here we're certainly selling anything we can make. 
for everything, even for that matter. I like that. So our target was 8 million. We've already earned 6 million as October with all of our interference. I think it would work out just fine. Exactly according to our desires here, I'm thinking. Maybe it was slightly more hectic than the last episode, but overall the difficulty is about the same. Just a matter of excessive micromanagement. Yeah, certainly wasn't easy uh, snaking all these Ravelands for here. An iron curtain around all these towns for the most part. Otherwise, we seem to be using a concrete right of way for the most part, right? Yeah, I think we can just uh, relax and uh, watch our trains humming along here for the next year. Just making some adjustments here when we see them. Because there's no way to see this from any other menu, like a global one, because that would be too uh, easier, I guess. But I do believe they made some UI improvements in the gold version of this game, or the expansion pack for that matter. Of course, this is just a base game. But I believe there are some UI changes. I did see them being advertised on the box art. So, how far off is it in December? <laughs> Not a whole lot, right? <laughs> Okay, we are indeed getting better at the game, I would think. Now we ought to be, because I played this game tons back in the day when it was first released. I didn't have Transport Tycoon, I remember that at least. Yeah, almost but not quiet. So we have to start all over essentially. Maybe not? It would be too funny when it comes down to last a couple of days of the month. Uh, no, well, I think it was down to really three days at most, right, wasn't it? It was 7,928,000. <laughs> the target is 8 million. Okay, good. Yeah, sometimes these things just happen. But still very funny when you think about it. Yes, we have, of course, alleviated our plastic shortage, and then things like these happen, of course. Pretty nice, the game certainly has some charm to it. I think it used to be 200 something uh, bolts in storage, right, wasn't it? So we're getting there eventually. Yeah, two million already in February once the month is over. Can't ask for much else. Portland and Vancouver? And Detroit on the other side here, it's like what? Five kilometers away? Hmm, okay, it's a very small map of course. But evidently we're not around the Great Lakes then. Thank you. 
Of course, the town is also starting to convert this to city streets. And we're going to what the ultimate reach is from the uh, portion of the town, or the central portion of the town. Because even in the original Transport Tycoon, I do believe there's a maximum. And especially in newer releases of OpenTDD, the town only has an influence that extends so far from its core. So they cannot build road tiles all across the map essentially, something like that. And I think it's also dependent on a density. It's the densest one around the center portion of the city, of course, as you would think. And on the outskirts, we only have some single family homes and things of that nature. No density development. Yeah, I think I'm done when it comes to adjusting our prices. But it was like a double the uh, deliveries compared to the demand. I'm not sure what happened here. Because evidently we are depleting this uh, plastic plant here quite often. Or the chemical plant even. Yeah, for difference the one additional wagon or indeed the one uh, a wagon less can make, right? I find figuring this out on the fly here with the system this large. And of course, this is not the largest system we've ever had uh, under our control here in this campaign. Never mind the first season. Yeah, we played through the medium campaign, or medium difficulty campaign even. It was very hectic. Some of these episodes lasted for like three hours, I believe. There was something else entirely. I mean... <laughs> Of course, we do need a one track for every single locomotive in this game for the most part. With a very few exceptions, so the situations do end up looking like these here most of the time. Because we can only deliver six items at a time with our trains. This game has some pretty fitting music, but the tracks are also very short because they have to fit onto the CD-ROM, I guess. Yeah, it's just like CD audio tracks, in case you're wondering. But I'm using a virtual CD-ROM drive for this. But it's an image of my original CD-ROM I bought back in the day. So once again, I'm not quite sure what they were referring to in the mission briefing because all the raw materials are the same value as before. So I'm not quite sure where the additional difficulty was supposed to be coming in. Even the original area was completely profitable. Not very profitable, but it was a loss making operation. Unlike the previous setup. So I'm not quite sure what the problem was supposed to be. Maybe they missed something, but you cannot really blame the translation or anything in between for this because this game was programmed in Austria. So it was uh, in German originally, and I do know that the English version of Industry Giant 2 has some uh, strange problems because of that. I find it very strange, incidentally. Must have been something that they didn't implement.
Ja, Spaghetti Junction Time. Willi das Look Depart. Das ist aber auch, wir kennen halt fehlt das bei Ecker of 1000 Bucks hier weit. Okay, interesting. Warte, was ist eine nice Mission? Yes, I think we need to meet uh, 75 out of 100 for the campaign, I believe. And we could be misremembering, it may also be only 60 out of 100. I guess we find out pretty shortly, won't we? Because we have access to the statistics over there if we want to see them. This time around is the ninth mission of the campaign. This time around they want to see a new company with a profit of 12 million at the end of 2047. And they're recommending electronic components, of course, unsurprisingly. Okay, I do believe you can see this when the game is paused, thankfully. Uh, I think we are quite there because indeed the target is 75%, so we cannot fail too many missions here in this campaign, interestingly enough. And we're starting with a clean uh, yeah, board essentially again. But we do have some mines finally. And of course, this is ensure that we can actually build something or allow to. And they're giving us a 1 million without a loan. That's very generous of them. Right? Well, let's just see here. What's available? What can be built? Everything, I guess. Not really. We have electronic components. We have the jewelry industry. That answers at least the one question. Okay, silver. Not quite good, but it's something, of course. Maybe we start with that, actually. Oh, finally, we have some gems here. But without gold, we cannot make ourselves uh, golden rings. Because uh, gems cannot be sold separately. I do remember that. Right? Yeah, we need gold for this, but guess what's on the map? It's a gold mine. So what's the point of that, anyhow? I shrug my shoulders because I don't know the answer to that. It's probably something they screwed up in the scenario editor. That ought to be a gold mine, surely, right? Yeah, I think it ought to be a gold mine, but of course it isn't in this particular version of the game. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, it's mostly down to plastic and steel plants, unsurprisingly. And a couple of sawmills which we cannot use because we don't have any fancy wood grain televisions. And we are not building any cars here. Ever, maybe in the final mission of the campaign, who knows? But I think that's all we can do for today. So, as usual, I think of watching and I hope to see you next time.